Today, I'm going to show you how to install Cobble Mod in less than 10 minutes. First, you're going to need two web browsers open, that being Cobble Mod and also Curse Forge. To get these up, all you need to do is search for Cobble Mod and Curse Forge, or I'll leave the links to them in the description. You'll need to use Curse Forge first and click the download button for your device. And because I'm on Windows, I'm going to download for Windows. You'll then need to open the download screen and you should come to this screen here. Just skip the intro as it isn't relevant to playing Cobble Mod. And just keep this open on the side or minimize it and we'll come back to it later. Next, click the download button on Cobblemon and it should bring you to this page. There'll be a few things we need to download here, so make sure you pay attention as you don't want to download the wrong file. On the left hand side, there are a few featured versions, and you can see all the different versions that are. But the only thing we're interested in here is a 1.3.0 Fabric 1.19.2. As we'll be playing this through a Fabric version of Minecraft, so don't download the Forge version or this will not work. Once that is done, go back to the original page and there will be three more files that you need to download. That being the Fabric Loader, Fabric API and Architecture API for Fabric. First, we're going to download Fabric Loader and just click download here. And again, I'll be downloading for Windows as I'm on a Windows PC. Then go onto Fabric API and once again, be careful on the version you download as a lot of options and we only want 1.19.2 Fabric. You don't need to do anything with these downloads right now. As you can see, all mine is still at the bottom and you can just leave them in your downloads folder for the moment. So don't mess with them just yet. Now the final download for the video and there's a bunch of different things to download. So don't get tripped up even seeing two 1.19.2s. Make sure you download the version that says Fabric and not Forge as even though we play it through Forge, we're playing it on a Fabric version. That should be us done now with all the web browsers. So let's go to the actual installing part. First, go to your downloads folder and open Fabric Installer. You should get this small tab open and make sure your settings are the same as mine or whatever the default settings are. This might be a bit confusing to see the version on 1.19.4, but trust me, if you change this to the right version of Cobmon, which is 1.19.2, it will not open. Just click install and make sure it's going to your .minecraft folder. Click OK and you can close that down and head back to Curse Forge. You can even delete this if you want afterwards, that's also fine. Here you want to go to create custom profile, and I'm just going to name this Cobblemon install. You can name it something different, it won't change anything. Then change your Minecraft version to 1.19.2, and change your game type to Fabric. If this is your first time creating a profile, it might take a little longer than usual, so pause the video if you want and wait for yours to be done. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to right click the profile and open folders. Here, bring your downloads folder back up as well, and it should auto take you to the mods folder. If not, you can find this in your Cobblemon folder, or if that isn't working, you can create a new folder and call it mods. Make sure it's all lowercase and this will still work. Anyways, you will now want to move the files in your downloads to your Cobblemon folder. If the Fabric API is already in there like mine was, don't worry about it too much. Just move the main Cobblemon installer and architecture API one. You can now go back to CurseWatch and start up Minecraft. It should load and automatically have your custom profile ready to go. Just click play and this takes some time. So again, if you want to pause the video until your Minecraft is open, that's fine. Once your Minecraft is loaded, you should come to this screen. And you'll know if this has worked, if you can see in the bottom right hand of the screen, it says 1.19.2 fabric in brackets modded. If it doesn't say this, you might have missed a step. So go back and rewatch to see if you've missed any steps or comment your problem. And I'll try and help you out. Anyways, now head into single player and I'm just going to go into creative to make sure this has worked. And if you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure you subscribe and like the video as it helps me out a load. Now this is loaded. The first thing you can tell that it has worked is the text that says press M to choose your Pokemon and begin your journey. So pressing M, I get these choices. And for this, I'm going to pick Froki as he looks so sleepy and he just needs a hug. Now, if I go ahead and press R, I can actually throw out my Froki and he'll even follow me around if I left him out and ran around. The great thing with this mod is the custom biomes that it has and also the fact that items are craftable. Like the EXP shares actually craftable and leftovers, you can actually obtain them by eating apples. Cotmon is adding so much more and it is always updating. Like it doesn't even have a custom battle animation yet, but it does have custom death animations. It also has the ability to move around in battle like Legends Arceus. 
Like, look how cute this Sanshu is with the custom death animation. I love it so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this install video and stay tuned for more Cobblemon content.